Here are the horses, race number four, the second division for two of the Philly Trotters and Ohio Sires, racing a mile, a purse of $19,300. The one is a bay daughter of Armbro Ilian, who was Sturgill Oman and Walter Miller of Ohio, Jim Arledge, the uh, trainer, with a mark of 208 and three earnings of $5,000. Jeff Fout driving Hills Sassy Sis. The two is a, another another brown daughter of Armbro Ilian, over the Winchester Bakers of the Columbus Brent Merkel trains. The mark of 204 and 1, earnings of $31,000. Just off a Sires win at Northfield Park, Dave Miller drives Mighty Molly. The three is a bay daughter of First Crop Sire, carry the message, Joan Bon Richard and to Sturgwall of Delaware, Jim Daly, the uh, trainer. Just getting started in her young career, her third career start. Her first Ohio Sires Start this evening from post three, Rough Tough, Cream Puff, and Jim Daly. Number four is a bay daughter of Mighty Crown, all by the HPS Consulting of Finlay and Greeno Senior Training, with the mark of 209 at Ottawa, earnings of $8,000. Coming in from Annika, it's our Mighty Valerie and Ed Greeno Jr. The five is a bay daughter of Sturdy Sabra, of the Policina Motors at Raven, Ohio, Marty Woolham, the uh, trainer. With a mark of 205 at Northfield Park, her last start in Ohio Sires, earnings of $21,000. Don McCurgan driving Mary's Dreamweaver. The six is a chestnut daughter of Overcomer. Oh, then trained by Jeff Hostel of New Philadelphia, Ohio. Making her 10th career start, earnings of over $12,000. Coming in from Northfield Park, Ohio Sires, it's Ebeletti with Jeff Hostetler. The seven is a bay daughter of Ombre Iliad, held by Peter and Gail McKeon of Groveport, Mike Zeller, the uh, trainer, with a mark of 201 and four fifths. In Ohio Sires here at Sutter Downs, earnings of $29,000. She's now five of nine. It's Bo with Mike Zeller. The eight is a bay daughter of Overcomer, owned by Beth and Norman Miller of Calverton, New York. Michael Hughes, the uh, trainer. She was an early national season's record holder with a mark of 201 and two, earnings of $21,000. Tompkin Gears, Grand Circuit winner here at Cider Downs, Chris Crossover and Dave Myers. At the nine is a bay daughter of Carry the Message, owned by the Billings winner, Harold Breidenbaugh of Lima, Ohio. Harold Dick, the uh, trainer. She with a mark of 202 and three earnings of $8,000. From post nine, it's Attitude Dance with Harold Dick. One play show, Perfecta, man, pick three wagering. Six minutes until post time, only six minutes. Second division, Tyrrell to Philly, Trotters lining up, moving in. On the back stretch, there they go. The eight crisscrossover is off stride. And uh, they're off, and it's Armadi Valerie first to leave, but alongside it's Mighty Molly, and Mighty Molly stepping out quickly here, takes a lead from our Mighty Valerie. From the inside to third, it's rough, tough, cream puff. From the outside comes Bo. Ebelady came away nicely fifth. On the inside and sixth, it's Mary's Dreamweaver. Angling in seventh comes Attitude Dance. Back racing eighth, crisscross over, and uh, following a break, the uh, trailer is Hill Sassy Sis. At the first quarter, 31 seconds, and Bo on the outside, determined to make the lead, and does now. And it's Bo on the front end by two, Mighty Molly. Inside is trotting a second. On the rail three, it's our Mighty Valerie, followed fourth by Rough Tough Cream Puff. Inside, Ability is trotting fifth. First up sixth comes Mary's Dreamweaver. And it's a gap, some sixth lengths to Attitude Dance, followed by Chris Crossover and Hill Sassy Sis. Approaching the half, and it's Zeller with Bo on the front here, leading the way. Odds on favorite, Mighty Molly, is at the garden spot, trotting second to half, 102 and four fifths. At the outside, Mary's Dreamweaver is moving first up third. On the rail fourth, our Monty Valerie, drafting with cover five, Evelyn. On the rail and trotting is sixth rough, tough cream puff as they straighten out down the back stretch. On towards the three quarters, and Bo now being pressured by Mary's Dream Weaver, ten to one shot. Right there, looks her in the eye, and Mighty Molly is now locked in the third. And the lady drafting along, perfect trip here, fourth. Long the rail and five. It's rough, tough, cream puff. 
at the uh, three-quarter mile marker, 133 and two. Uh, midway through the final turn, Bo continues to lead. Leading since the quarter, but Monty Molly has yet to move off the pylons. And Abilady swinging three wide now as they turn for home. They've lost center eighth, and down the stretch they come. It's Bo with the lead. Abilady to the outside, and Monty Molly to the inside. In mid stretch, Bo is cruising along here. Abilady to the outside, closing quickly, added to dance, but it's Bo at the wire. Here now, ladies and gentlemen, is the official winner, the second division for two of Philly Trotters in the fourth leg of Ohio Sires from post position number seven, Bo. A bay daughter of Omril Iliad from Sybil Hill by Speed in Action. Oh, by Peter and Gail McKeon of Groveport, Ohio. Mike Zeller, the uh, trainer and driver. Bo, bred by the Wind Dancer Farms of Kentucky. Enjoying a very successful rookie season. Her sixth career win and only 10 starts. Adding to her growing bankroll of $29,000, she trumps tonight's mile in 203 and a four fifths. The complete order finished the One Hill Sassy Sis, nine, Monty Molly, three, Rough Jeff Cream Puff, seven, Armani Valerie. From Ladbrook at the Meadows in Washington, Pennsylvania.